Hello, this is Boris from Medialux. In this tutorial we will learn how to use a platform to create a simple player. Well, let's create a new project. It will be a Windows application. And put controls on our player form. We will need a play button. A text box to input the file path into it. Here it is. Let's write the file path right now. It will be a wildlife clip that any Windows 7 user has. And we will also need a panel. This panel will mark the output area of our pl uh, player. So here is our form, it is ready and now we can prepare the solution. First of all we need to add a reference to a platform DLL. By default it is located in C, Program Files. Medialux. M Platform. Bean. M Platform R DLL. Here it is. Now we can start writing code. The event we need is form load. Oh, before writing our code, let's add the library name to using to avoid writing it before each class name. Uh, so, I've prepared some code lines to avoid the slow typing and speed up this video, so I'll just copy and paste it and explain the meaning of each code line. Here is our M file class. This class is very simple and it is used to play a single clip at a time. It's just what we need for our simple player. So in our form load method we will add this code and here is the mean. By this line we create a new object and here we set the output props. It is very easy, we just create a vid props structure set the video format for it. I've set NTSC here, but there is a huge list of available formats, so you can any of them or your custom format, but we will leave NTSC over here. And then we set chosen format by format video set method. We pass our structure over here. And here we configure the preview area. We set the preview area by passing the our panel handle to preview window set method. And then we enable the preview by preview enable method. Sometimes we don't need the preview, but we will definitely need it in our player. Now our play method. It is also very simple. There are only two code lines. By first line we set file name from our text box. And here we start the playback. So that's all code that we need. Let's try to compile our project. If it succeeded. Oh, one more very important thing that I forgot to mention. If you use a 32 bits version of a platform, and plan to use your application under 64 bits version of Windows, you need to change your solution compile properties. By default it is set to any CPU and you need to change it to x86. Otherwise it will not work under 64, ver 64 bits version of Windows. So here we change it changed it to x86 and can compile and run our player application. So here it is, we press play button and see our wildlife clip. The player works perfectly, everything is fine. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.